What's up everyone? I am Jamie with 3LittleGoats.com and today is a very exciting day. A year ago today our barn was actually built, the framing of it and all the red that you've seen in the videos. And today, one year later to the date, we are finishing it. Jesse's motor pool was built the other day over on the other side of the property so we were able to get all of the barn imp or the not the barn implements, the tractor implements out of this side of the barn so we can finish it all off. The plan is to actually finish it the same way the other side is as far as the outside goes, but the inside we're just going to have two large pins. It's going to be our gen pop area where all the goats can hang out at night where they can go when it's raining. And the side that's already finished we had planned to be our milking station as well as our nursery. So they'll be able to move out of that and into the new area hopefully by the end of the day tomorrow we should have everything finished as long as the weather holds out it's a gorgeous day today so we're gonna get as much done as we can so let's get started I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away So one of the biggest questions I've gotten in one of the Facebook groups I'm in that we've been posting our barn build on is what type of screws we're using and ideally you want to use a wood to metal screw that's self tapping. Our hardware store is small, we're a small rural town so we're using what we have on hand and that's just these sheet metal screws that we picked up. They're two and a half inches that way we can get through the 2 by 4 as well as the metal tubing that the barn is built out of. You want to get self-tapping. We do pre-drill, that way it's just a little bit easier to get through the metal, but so far they've worked pretty good, so let's continue on. We don't want to talk. You don't want to talk? No. You don't want to talk to the people? But there's like tens of people on the other side of that. So, so we finished the outside and now we are going to be laying down our liner for the flooring. That way we can hopefully get the gates and stuff up maybe probably tomorrow. But today we want to get the liner down and that way tomorrow we can just start working on the gates. If nothing's broken us, you nothing ever will. Also, yeah, it is the next day, and today we plan on doing all the data wing for the wood so we can get the gate put up inside to block off the two sections of the barn, and then hopefully string the lights, get the camera up, and move the girls over. So let's get started. Alright, show me the way. Show me a way to somewhere. 
All right, so the reason why we decided to go with a dado was we can use our four panel that we've actually cut up and it slides right in there. That way when we build out our frames, we can just build it around the horse panel to fit nice and snug and we don't have to worry about it ever coming out. separated the area into two pins and then now all we have left to do is put up the lights that I got that are solar powered our camera for in here and build some platforms for the girls so let's continue on life is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs All right, so we got the platforms in, and I think I'm gonna stop recording, and I'll bring you guys back when it's all finished. All right, y'all, it is complete. Are you guys ready to see it? I'm so excited. The girls have been living in here for about a week now since we've completed it, and I'd say they're pretty happy, so I'll show you inside, come on. officially done with the barn which is great it came just in the nick of time we ended up finishing up our platforms which were made all of the scrap wood we had from building the barn and other projects and some free pellets we got from the feed store which is great because we had some unexpected additions to the farm we just ended up with five baby doll sheep we got four ewes and one ram so eventually the ewes will be staying in here as well and it's great because the platforms, I can now put the goat mineral up on top of the platforms where the sheep can't get to it. Because if you guys didn't know, sheep can't have as much copper as goats actually need. Goats need lots of copper. Sheep can die from too much copper. So we had to keep, make sure that their mineral stays out of the mouths of our very hungry sheep. Now, right now, if you couldn't hear, Chrissy is in here rooting around. She doesn't live in here. She usually lives out in the pasture. But because we got the gates open for all the goats to go out into the large pasture, she decided she wanted to come check out the barn today. So she seems to be enjoying it as well. I think she's a little bit jealous. So the only thing that we had left to do when I left you guys last was to string up the lights and just put all of their feeders, their hay bags, and also our camera, which are both solar powered. Our lights are solar powered as well as the camera is solar powered. I will link those down below if you want to check those out. So that is what I have got for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big hooves up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We make videos every single week. Hi, that's my thumb. And we'll see you guys in the next one.
Bye. You say bye, Rose. Bye.